What's going on peeps? Dark Ace back at it again. About to be telling you guys about this whole theme history update in video form only because I don't know if you guys all watched the live stream. Some people came. But uh, yeah, anyways. So I'm about to be telling you this update, what's going to be happening with the theme histories, what's going to hold for the future, and stuff like that. You're going to be having a lot of information. So, uh, you know, grab a pen and paper and... Uh, Let's get right into it. So anyways, first of all, I'm gonna have to say this. I'm gonna really take my time on these theme histories from now on. Uh, for example, the first Ryu video is about like an hour and 30 minutes long. And my new Ryu theme history, spoiler alert, is five hours long. And this isn't because of the whole fact that some of the games that was released from 2012 and onwards didn't exist yet, but there was some themes and other stuff that I missed and I decided to, you know, put them all together and make sure that everything is like a, you know, full package deal, you know what I'm saying? So in terms of that, you're gonna get a lot coming from me, but this has to take a lot of time. Now, how many days or months will it take for the next theme history? I can't say, but if I do dedicate myself, which I am, it will probably be a couple of days, but I want this to, you know, the linger so, you know, you can be able to see more theme histories instead of having like a bunch of theme histories that you have to catch up with. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I am going to be consistent, but this is definitely, I need to savor this moment so you guys can understand, like, I don't want to do this quick. Get everybody like out the way so I can start my new theme history project. No, I want to be able to have this long for you guys so you can be able to savor it you know what i'm saying i will savor this shout out to yurian but anyways yeah that's exactly what i'm gonna do you know so there you go with that one the next one is that i'm gonna be taking polls for the next character that's gonna be out so i already put a character inside of reuse theme history video that's gonna be next i'm not gonna say who it is because obviously so after that person is next but i'm still gonna put the poll on the ryu video who do you want to see in terms of theme history like who do you want to see in the theme history like you know it could be sakura it could be guile it could be sagat it could be ken you know it could be you know chun li i'm gonna put at least like four or three people probably four yeah four people and you gotta choose and whoever is like first is gonna be next. But I'm gonna include the people that are on the list too. So it would be first, second, third, fourth. You know what I'm saying? So those are the four characters that are gonna be next. You already know who's gonna be next. Maybe I'll do something different. I'll let you guys know. But at the same time, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, but you know, I'll figure something out. I'll tell you guys later. Or maybe I can just have the winner be next and then jumble it up again and pick another person who needs to be there. But I think my idea for the first one is better. Maybe, I don't know, I'll, I will tell you guys or you'll see something and then, you know, you guys will vote for that number one character and that character or characters will be next. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. Uh, the third thing is that I'm gonna hold off the EX characters only because characters like Skullamania, Kyrie, you know, Hokuto, or Shira say now, I guess, is in fighting EX Slayer. So I don't know if they're gonna be having themes of their own that's not like the old ones as like placeholders or whatever, but I just know for a fact that if they do have new themes, they will be in that theme history. Well, regardless, I'll put them in anyway, but yeah, 
I will hold them off just to see if they do have new themes for Fighting EX Layer and then I will put them on there. And you guys will definitely have EX character videos too. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't leave out the EX family because I mean, I've been growing up playing EX, so I know exactly what the flip I'm doing and what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? Some of you guys be, you know, tripping thinking that that game, Fighting EX Lair, is a Street Fighter ripoff. Uh, quite the contrary, it's not a Street Fighter ripoff. Arika and Capcom, and let alone, Arika is made up from like old Capcom people, you know what I'm saying? The ones that made Street Fighter 2. The creator of Street Fighter 2 is at Arika right now. So it is not a Street Fighter ripoff. So chill out with that. And besides, Capcom and Arika teamed up with each other to make a Street Fighter game. Three of them might I add. So at the same time, I'm like, this is a Street Fighter ripoff? Fuck out of here. Anyways, now you know. So the EX characters is definitely going to be in there. I just need to hold them off until the new themes hopefully do come. Or if they have themes or stages that corresponds to their freaking, you know, character, like Cracker Jack, when you saw his trailer, you're in outside in a type of desert or something like that, you know what I'm saying? So, there you go. Yeah. I mean, I did so with Tekken, with, you know, characters and stages corresponding with each other and I need to put the theme in there. You know what I'm saying? That's that's pretty much the thing of this. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah. Anyways, and I need you to put a counter on how many times I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Starting now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, and the next thing is that I need to plug this in so many different like websites and plug it to people that are like ultra fans of Street Fighter that's like popular and stuff like that because the first round one theme history for Street Fighter is literally the biggest thing that I've ever done in my entire life which is why I have these subscribers you know till this day I have six thousand of y'all and once again I thank you for checking out my theme history and all that and more you know what I'm saying so at the same time I need you guys' help. I need you guys, whenever the theme history comes in, right? And by the way, April 17th, 2018 is when this theme history is gonna freaking fly. I need you guys to post it or, you know, do a news article about it or whatever to event hubs, to showyouken.com, to Fighters Generation or send it to Fighters Generation or something like that. Or better yet, I can be able to ask the guy of uh, Fighters Generation for help. And besides, I did shout him out in um, you know the, the theme history. So that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, if you can, if you guys are fans of uh, Maximilian Dude, I strongly recommend you send that video to him only because he is a Street Fighter head, especially Steve from your video game. Steve is a Ryu head till the day he dies. So that is exactly the reason, one of the reasons why you should send this to Maximilian. If they are streaming together or whatever, I will probably donate and then send it to him and stuff like that. And you know, if you guys are donating, I need you guys to freaking send him that link so you can be able to see it yourselves. And you know, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Because I definitely need my theme history to be up in the radar again. You know what I'm saying? And this is why I'm gonna work hard on this only because I'm not gonna half-ass anything for this theme history anymore. I'm gonna look as hard as I can with the songs that, you know, have been there, but I just can't find them. Like, there are so many themes of Ryu that I never thought even existed, ever. Or at least I did some information, tried to find it, and I found it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sorry about that. Let me get some water right quick. Uh, yeah, 
But anyways, that is exactly what I gotta do. I need to have Maximilian see this. I need to have the chat see this. I need to have everybody seeing it. Not just Maximilian, not just his fan base, but everybody. I need everybody that's a Street Fighter head, that's a fighting game, you know, fanatic, that is a old Capcom fan, that is a new Capcom fan, you know. We need to do this. Every compilation video that you see with like, you know, excuse me, Street Fighter, or King of Fighters, or Tekken, and stuff like that, I am the ultimate guy that can be able to make that a reality. And I label my compilations as theme history. That's where the theme history title came along. You know what I'm saying? Because I went to a tournament. I don't know if this is much of an you know inspiration, but obviously this is revolving around Street Fighter since Street Fighter 4 was like the biggest thing around, you know, at the time. So I just decided, you know what? Let me do a theme history for Ryu. You know what I'm saying? And as soon as I did the theme history video for Ryu, you know, the best I could, and you know, at the time I was in school, I couldn't be able to find anything that even existed yet. And some stuff that existed already, I can't find or couldn't find at the time, but I can now. So yeah, all that and more. And out goes the theme history. So I decided to put it on event hubs few days later I was able to freaking have that thing on event hubs and people starting to like it and when people go on the event hubs forum you know what I'm saying you can be able to see it and you can be able to check it out and so much more you know what I'm saying that is the literal reason why why the theme histories are alive till this day. And that caused me to do Ken, that caused me to do Chun-Li, that caused me to do Guile. I've been like mixing and matching. It's like experiments. Like I'm experimenting on these things. Matter of fact, I posted three videos on the same day. Those videos being Vega, Ibuki, and Dudley. And I was like, what in the world was I doing? and what I was thinking, you know what I'm saying? And those guys pretty much have over a thousand views in the six digits maybe. I think Guile is like the overall highest one in terms of views and reuse the close second. You know what I'm saying? Like I did all this for you guys. Like this is for you. I mean, this isn't just for me, for personal gain or whatever. I just needed y'all to enjoy the music and these theme histories because I love video game music with a passion. And I literally have all video game music on my phone. No real music, well, some anyway, unless it's like an orchestra type situation that I like, like to use or whatever. Uh, you know, to make beats or whatever or something like that, or if I get the homies to do that. Shouts out to uh, Homies Collective. Uh, you should go check them out. I keep plastering their freaking links on the description. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. Uh, I made sure I organized my description so you guys can definitely see some new changes in the description, you know, below the video and, you know, things of that nature. And, yeah, so again, recap, I'm gonna hold off the EX characters, you know, until EX, Fighting EX Slayer comes out. I'm gonna, you know, do a poll in each video, who's gonna be next. I feel like I should do like a poll for each video and then, you know, I get like different characters and stuff like that. I may leave some characters out on purpose, so it would be a fitting end for that freaking character. Like, like say Akuma, like say Bison, like say Gil, you know what I'm saying? Fuck Seth. But yeah, anyways, yeah. Uh, the first thing that I said, and I'm trying to think about it, if I can, I'm sorry. But uh, you guys already know what it is, if you guys were paying attention. 
But uh, the fourth thing is pretty much Maximilian. You know what I'm saying? Maximilian, Event Hubs, Shoryuken, and freaking Fighters Generation. All of those guys need to freaking see this. All of them. And they really, truly, I hope I get their attention so I can show them on what I have and then they can be able to judge it for themselves. Now, this is basically a video with many songs that has pictures that will repeat over and over and over and over again until the loop is done and you know things like that this is five hours again by the way so hopefully you guys can be able to help me on this this is a together effort we need to put this thing on the map again and this time we're gonna do things right and i promise y'all i promise y'all i promise y'all that I will be able to do the best that I can with this theme history. I'll make you guys proud and stuff like that. I need you guys to start commenting again. You know what I'm saying? Because ever since Tekken and King of Fighters showed up, it's like some of y'all, well, some of y'all were there. It's just all of y'all compared to the theme history for Street Fighter was like, you're making you know, KOF and Tekken look like chumps compared to Street Fighter. Like, this is what we want to see. This is what we don't want to see. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, if you guys didn't see my theme history for King of Fighters and my theme history for Tekken, go ahead and, you know, give a look at those. Uh, Street Fighter round one is still there. I'm not going to delete any of these videos. I'm going to leave it there so you guys know the difference between them and stuff like that. And I will be making custom thumbnails for round two so you guys will understand which one is which. You know what I'm saying? The original thumbnails that I put in there are going to stay there while I'm going to put thumbnails on the new stuff that's going to say Street Fighter theme history because the other ones didn't say it. Now this one is going to say it. So that is the example that I'm you know, trying to give you guys right now. So yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give, you know, you know, like it, subscribe and share, you know, if you're new and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.